To complete coverage on the turmoil at the Socorro Independent School District first, the state oversight is officially making its presence felt. The two conservators appointed by the Texas Education Agency met with the Board of Trustees tonight. And they also uh, spoke to reporters, and of course, one of those reporters being ABC 7's very own Sam Harris-Simowitz, who joins us now live to pick up the coverage from here. Sam? Good evening, Paul and Stephanie. As ABC7 reported to you earlier in the year, SISD faces a deficit of over $30 million over the past school year, and into this coming school year, well, that deficit could even rise to above $40 million. Now, back in March, when the board here at SISD voted to accept those conservators, Board President Michael Nahara said that the deficit did not play into that decision. Nonetheless, I did speak to the lead conservator today and asked him what is the current state of SISD's multi-million dollar deficit. The, for the current year, it's gone down. Uh, they've been able to do some things that help, have helped improve that situation. The conservators are both former superintendents at other districts across Texas. The lead conservator, Michael Inaosa, even spent time leading Fabens ISD. The conservators explained how a district can find themselves in such a deficit situation. Once again, it's a long, long process. Uh, it wasn't just one decision, it's many decisions. They also explained where the district spends most of the money. Almost not, in this district, almost 90% of the money is payroll related. That's either salary, benefits, and then you have an other fixed cost like utilities. The Texas Education Agency says there isn't a set time for how long the two men may be at SISD. They expect at least a year. The conservative says they have the authority to overturn board decisions. We may or may not overturn it, but we're going to tell them the consequences of things down the road. It has been a rocky week for SISD following the arrests of two Board of Trustee members, Pablo Pereira and Ricardo Castellano, back on Thursday, May 9th. Both trustees did attend Wednesday night's board meeting. I asked the TEA's Deputy Commissioner if the law enforcement investigation into those board members changes how the TEA will be working with SISD. Enforcement matters, and so it would be premature for us to, um, to, us to make any decisions or any assumptions about uh, what transpired or what uh, might be the response from an a the agency. The lead conservator explaining that in order to fix SISD's deficit, it will be about being responsible with the use of funds moving forward. But it's not easy. It's not linear. Fixing these systems and these finances is doable. It's just going to make difficult decisions. Another issue facing SISD over the coming months is the selection of a new superintendent. Now, during today's board meeting, they heard from their consultant to SISD who recommended that the board names a loan finalist for the superintendent job by the end of July. So a very quick process. That's about 10 weeks from now when we could know who the board hopes to be the next superintendent of the Sokoto Independent School District. Reporting outside the SISD headquarters, I'm Sam Harris-Simowitz, ABC7.